Welcome, and welcome to the power of business and style. Um, I want to talk just briefly about the why that I do this, and I always mention that first because I want people to understand um, there's something more than just uh, making money or being a business coach or being a color and stylist. And so the why for me is so that people know and trust their beauty and genius, their choices and expressions. And I think that brand is one of the most powerful and sometimes mysterious and sometimes uh, frustrating places that that can land. The first thing that I want to mention tonight is what makes up at, at the power business and style, what makes up your brand. And so I see it in three ways. I see it as soul vision, which I call the heart of your message. And the second is natural marketing style, which is the soul of your style. And then the third is dress for your future, which is the art of your presentation. And so let's just talk about that a little bit. So <clears throat> one of the things that always concerned me about brand was that people would have pieces of it. It's like my clients would come and they would have a piece here and a piece there. And then they would go to their graphic designer and your graphic designer would say, oh, but this is trending now and uh, so you should use this. And what I wanted was my clients to be incredibly empowered so that they knew uh, exactly who they were, what they needed from a graphic designer or a copywriter or wh whoever they decided to go to. And that's how um, the power of business and style began, really. So <clears throat> let me talk briefly. Um, I know next week we're going to talk about um, being a client magnet and Soul Vision will be the first part we talk about. But tonight I'm going to talk about it as an overview. So think of <clears throat> why you've come to the planet. You know, uh, USA Today did a, a research project years ago and something like 85% of the people on the, on, the, on the planet wanted to know why they're here. <clears throat> And I think that's the power of Soul Vision. It does two things, well, maybe three. It, it, sh it, it uncovers or brings to the surface, really, because everybody knows on some level why they're here, or at least most of my clients do. But what's often missing is <clears throat> their connection to it and why they really have to do it, why they're driven to do it. And so, Soul vision becomes the heart of your message. Just think about that for a minute. If you have the heart of your message, then that is the foundation of your brand. And, <clears throat> you know, I used to see a lot of, and I still do, I'd see a lot of stuff that was, you know, a copywriter did it, and there's nothing wrong with copywriters as long as they have your voice. But <clears throat> what I would see is um, things that didn't even sound like the person. And you know, in a way, um, I had to fight to have my own voice be on my website because everybody always had a good idea about how I was supposed to sound. And when I finally took back the power to say it the way I wanted to say it, everything shifted for me. And so that's the first piece. And you know, <clears throat> inside a soul vision is a really awesome thing. We're going to talk about it uh, in more depth next week, but um, soul vision is why you do it. So the vision, and we always say vision connects and benefits sell. And also your promises and intentions to your clients, which to me is extremely important. And what it does is it's not just a soul vision that's woo woo. It's a vision that connects, uh, connects you with, with the people that you want to serve. And it's also the tangible, measurable things that you promise as a person who does business. Natural marketing style is, is the soul of your style. And the reason for that is because it does several things. It 
it's the way you move in the world. It's the, the way you market that is most harmonious to you. Basically, each of us has a, a different strength. You know, for some people, it's, it's ideas and possibility. Other people, it's uh, c deep connection. Other people, it's action and results. And for other people, it's perfecting. And the thing about that is everybody markets differently. And <clears throat> so one of the things that I found for myself in terms of the soul of my style is that I need to be about hope and possibility. And when I'm about that, my marketing feels good to me. And when I'm not about that, and when I used to think, oh, I have to say, I'll be results oriented. Even though I'm results oriented, it didn't sound like me. So soul of your style is also, how do I sound? Who am I being in the world that fits my marketing versus me trying to fit somebody else's idea of my marketing? <clears throat> and then the third part of your brand and of the power of business and style is the art of your presentation and dress for your future. You know, I um, started working with color in 1978. And it's one of those things that I love deeply. I, you know, when I was a Montessori teacher, I got to create environments all the day and work all day and work with color. And then as I was a business coach, I found that I didn't get to do it as much. So <clears throat> this part of your brand is, is huge. Let's put it that way. And why is it huge? It's huge because once you've had your colors done and you have your color palette, your specific customized color palette, what happens is not just that you have the, the colors for your clothes, that's awesome, but you also have the colors for your website. So that when you go to a graphic designer or when you're you know, reinventing yourself, you have got what you need to express yourself to the world in terms of color. That's powerful. The other thing that I think is really important is that I do something that's kind of distinct when I do colors and I give people their style facets. Now, <clears throat> you know, I just had a woman who came up from Southern California last weekend and um, I, I refreshed her palette because she had it done a long time ago, but I gave her some, some new colors. But more than that, we even did her style facets. And what she found was she was this mostly romantic woman. And to put that together and also do business, how do you do that? So that you look beautiful and you also look powerful in your way. And so it was illuminating for her. And what was really interesting is that she'd always known she was this this person who was into beauty, and I'm not just talking about physical beauty, but art beauty and, you know, just beauty itself. And as we did her style facets and then went and did some shopping, it was profound for her that she could look like herself, be feminine and romantic, and yet realize that that was her power. So, <clears throat> The last thing about all of this is when I talk about Dress for Your Future and the art of your presentation, I really want you to think about how you dress for your future because that is your brand. You know, I was saying to my clients yesterday, actually, you know, we, we think oftentimes that the past creates our present, but it's actually the future that creates our present. And even though this sounds very deep, I'll give you the idea. So <clears throat> if you think of an infinity signal, a symbol, you know, like a figure eight on its side, and you imagine this part being behind you, your past, the part in the middle where it crosses as your present, and the, the part out in front, the other part of the figure eight being your future. What I want you to understand is that every time we're thinking about what happened in our past and wasn't it terrible and whatever and we throw that out that thought out into our future we get more of that in our present think about that for a minute 
So every time you're thinking, you know, my life was bad when I was a child, etc., etc., and that doesn't mean don't go to therapy, by the way. Please feel free. Um, I spent a lot of time there. But as we get more conscious, we realize that what we're throwing out to the past and thinking about the present, and as we will think about the future that we want, that we are creating, that we want to observe, when we think about that and feel that, it becomes our present. That is powerful. So let's think about that in terms of clothing and the way you dress. If you've been wearing things that you hate, that you wore in high school, that um, you look in your closet and go, I have nothing to wear, that is not dressing for your future. <laughs> So what we want to do is make sure that you have your colors, your deep style facets and essence, so that when you're going to do business, you look in harmony with yourself, and when other people look at you, they feel harmony. And so that's what the power of business and style is about when we're creating our brand. And I hope you'll come and play with me. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'd love for you to follow me. I'm on Instagram as The Power Business and Style. And I'm on Pinterest, which is, by the way, I set up my Pinterest board to be an education about color and style. We also put blogs on there. And that's um, Ann Sagendorf Moon. So I'd love for you to uh, come and play and create a brand and a business that you love. And I'll see you next week, actually, for um, Soul Vision, which is the first part of being a client magnet. Have a great evening. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.